Chinese hospitals aborted late stage pregnancies and killed newborns in Xinjiang, China, AKA East Turkestan. So hospitals in Xinjiang aborted late stage pregnancies and killed newborns as part of China's mission to erase Uyghur culture. A doctor who worked from the region told Radio Free Asia. In 2017, China passed a law limiting Uyghurs and other ethnic minorities to having three children if they live in a rural area or two if they live in urban areas. Um, Hasia Abdullah, a Uyghur doctor who spent 15 years working in hospitals in Xinjiang and now lives in Turkey, told RFA that when a child was expected to be born into a family who had already had two or three children or who had had a child in the past three years, the pregnancy would be terminated even at eight or nine months. Sometimes the medical staff members would, quote, even kill the babies after they had been born, Abdullah said. So, um, one, I know that I can't say we are the right way. Um, two, I wanted to highlight this news because I think it's important to, I don't even know the right way to say this. Um, when fighting genocide and mass human rights abuses, we need to make sure we're not exaggerating, right? And this news is terrible. I think it is well documented that um, the Chinese government's hospitals have been doing um, extremely late term abortions, right? That's well documented for years. Um, However, this claim about killing newborns is obviously very severe. And it, um, I have only been able to find this person claiming that they kill newborns. Um, and- yeah, so guys, we have a, we have a huge anti-Chinese government agenda here. But just because we're extremely, um, because we do have that bias, that doesn't mean that we should just accept this. Because right now we don't know if there's enough evidence for this second part. We do yeah. know that this forced abortions is mm-hmm. a thing, right? We do know that, right? Mm-hmm. Is that that we do know we know that with some level of some degree of certainty, not one hundred percent. I think a high degree of certainty. High degree of certainty. Okay, but this one is a new and obviously a lot bigger claim. Like, okay, late stage pregnancy. Again, forced abortion is horrible and it's a crime. Forced abortions, right? Yes. And it should be called out. And if I say that this second part is a lot worse, I'm not dismissing how bad that other one is, but obviously mm-hmm. this is way, way killing newborns, like killing babies after they're born. This is like, holy crap. If this is true, this is like a huge what the hell kind of moment. Like, what? Like, but again, guys, be skeptical of bad news like this. Don't just believe it because somebody said so. But this needs to be investigated more. Like, holy crap, man. This is like, I it's mean. very severe. It is an extremely severe allegation. And mm. given the extraordinary nature of the claim, you need to provide extraordinary evidence. Now, um, guys. By the way, for people who ask sources for uh, our stories, every single story that we highlight here, the links are always in the description, okay? Maybe check first before you ask well, where's the source, okay? It's right in the description. The source for every news is in the description. And you could find their sources as well. But I'm saying, you guys, we need to, even if they, there are sources, you can't just believe it because somebody, because some of the sources is sometimes this, some somebody claims it, okay? And I'm not saying you can dismiss it just because somebody claims it, because a lot of times the person who's claiming it is somebody with some level of credibility. So I'm not saying dismiss it. I'm not saying believe it. But a lot of people think that there's only two options, dismiss it or believe it. So um, There is other options. Other option is like pay attention to this and consider it and put it in the in there's there's a category in your mind there's multiple categories like you can't you don't have to throw it out you don't have to believe it you could her like i'm gonna keep this in the uh withholding judgment but paying attention to until i see further evidence for it yeah so things that need to be investigated further category there's there's an in-between category yeah Mm -hmm. call it that okay there's a don't dismiss it don't believe it Put it in the file that, oh, this needs to be in the investigated category. 
put it over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So this woman said, um. Let me show you while, while Susanna is being a train. Let me show you guys something that I don't like. Okay, let me actually oh, so, show Jesus. you a comment that I do like. Um, Patrick is getting it right. St. Patrick saying, while well, I'm all for complete and utter disestablishment of all religions, not like this. Okay, mm -hmm. great point. Yes, thank you. Let me like this one. We're against religion, look at not people. Yeah, but look at this guy. Look at this idiot. Population control. I'm fine with that. That's oh what he's. God. That's the gif here. And I don't know why there's a furry thing opening here. That's a Pokemon. Um, I don't know what that has to do with anything. What does that got to do with anything? But anyways, so yeah, I mean, you're a horrible human being, Daniel. You are a horrible, horrible human being. Congratulations. Yeah, that's yeah. Terrible. Um, yeah, forced abortions, ethnic genocide, and um, demographic engineering is not the same as population. I mean, this control. is this is beyond just demographic engineering. This is straight up murder, right? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. If it's true. But well, here's, here's uh, the some... thing: she's saying mm -hmm. um, for babies who had born had been born at the hospital outside of family planning limits. She said. Quote, they would kill them and dispose of the body. They wouldn't give the baby to the parents. They'd kill the babies when they're born, she said. It's an order that's been given from above. It's an order that's been printed and distributed in official documents. Hospitals get fined if they don't comply. So, of course, they carry this out. So that's it. That's a serious and extraordinary claim to make. Now, the thing is, I have been able to find multiple reports of multiple doctors who now live outside of China talking about the campaign of forced abortions, forced late-term abortions within the Xinjiang region. Um, however, this claim about killing newborns after they've been born, I've only been able to find this woman claiming this. She's talking about um, uh, government documents. Um, I have not been able to find those documents have been, that they've been produced and brought forward um, versus the report that the Associated Press released a few months ago regarding the data, the data from Chinese documents themselves that shows the demographic shifting that's happening in the region. That is extremely credible evidence and that meets the standard of genocide according to the United Nations five criteria of what meets genocide. Um, yes. This, yes, China. this yeah. is on a different level um, and I am treating so basically this claim with a level of I'm treating this claim with a level of skepticism because I have so far have only been able to find one person making this claim versus the campaign of forced abortions what is much more well person? documented. Like activists, like underground, or just like person with a credibility of things that, like, what kind of a person is this? The is person this? making this claim is an obstetrician who worked in Xinjiang for fifteen years, now living okay. in Turkey. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, this person on Twitch, who I can't pronounce the name, said "unconfirm" is a good name for the category. I don't like "unconfirm" because a lot of people use "unconfirm" as a way to just throw it away. I think needs to be investigated is also is not believing it, but also taking it seriously as a claim, right? So I think needs to be investigated. I like I like that more as a category that you can put it into because it's basically treating the uh, the claim with the seriousness that it deserves, right? Uh, Ethan is saying forced simple medical procedures no different than requiring a vaccination. No. Oh my no. god, Ethan. Oh my god, Ethan, cut it out. Cut it out, Ethan. Ethan, no. We we don't want to have to shit this hard on our own members. Don't do this to us. <laughs> no. Oh my god. We appreciate your support, I'm but I, no. I, I, Ethan, I think you can see bet the difference between forcing of, uh, you know, killing Late stage or to term of pregnancies. Yeah. Then something that is supposed to stop spreading a disease. Um, here's the thing. This would be, 
Ethan, this would be a good comparison if these were zombies, zombie babies that would go and infect other people when they were born, like biting people and turning them to zombies. Then <laughs> if it was a disease like that, and then yeah, okay, kill those babies, okay? That would make that's how that's how it would be similar, okay? Because it's harming other people. Um, but yeah, again, China, cut it out, China. Maybe consider not committing genocide. Just just a suggestion. Cut cut out the genocide. Um, that's our recommendation from China. But th- was this the last news today? Um, this was the last news. I had something else that I wanted to mention in regards to this is like honestly so shocking. Um, the birth rate of Uyghur Muslims in the Xinjiang region dropped. Um, the birth rate in Xinjiang fell by nearly twenty four percent in two thousand nineteen. The birth rate falling. 24% within the span of one year is shocking. This doesn't happen under regular circumstances. Right. Okay, this is because of state meddle- meddling, penalizing, and um, demographic engineering campaigns. Right. Th- that doesn't happen without really crazy stuff going on in the environment right right anyways let's cut this here because we have managed to keep this under two hours i like to keep the news under two hours so we're getting close let's say ethan is saying something let's see what he has to say um ethan by the way guys um see ethan is a is a paid member but we don't hold back even if you're a paid member and i think ethan understands that not understanding the liberal position uh this it, in the abortion debate they are simple medical procedures and what is china doing becomes killing babies um no ethan because it's against the first of all when we say killing babies we were talking about the newborns not the fetuses but even when it comes to the fetuses um it's a crime if it's against the will of the mother obviously obviously okay we're against uh forced abortions just the same way we're against um, forced labor, forced car- because both of them are against the will of the mother. I think whether the fetus stays or goes should be the choice of the mother. So we are as aggressively against forcing a mother to carry to have the baby as we are against a mother forcing the mother to not have the baby. Um, it's actually pretty consistent if you think about it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, AJ is saying. Please like and share and subscribe the channel. Yes, thank you, AJ, for reminding everybody to like and subscribe. Follow us on Twitch. Uh, link to our personal channel, personal accounts for both me and Susanna and also Rivka and Shopam is in the description. So if you're like, you know what? I don't like this Aces Republic stuff, but I like Susanna. Or more likely, you're going to say, I actually like Armin more. Mm. Um, then you could actually look in the description. You could follow our personal accounts as well on Instagram. No, no, forget don't. No, Armin's account. Link in the description. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> All right, check it. Check us out, and also Discord server. For and also, guys, one thing, one more reminder. Stop it. Cut it out. Uh, you're distracting people from what I'm saying, Susanna. With all your. <laughs> God damn it. All right, guys, do not support us financially. We're getting a lot of new members and a lot of recent new, new patrons, which is awesome. But I'm hoping none of our new members and none of our patrons um, are supporting us while suffering financially. Again, every time a reminder, please, 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 please do not support us financially on PayPal or Patreon or as a pay, as a YouTube member. If you're struggling financially, there are other ways you can support us. You can like us, you know, click the like button. It's really easy. It just takes half a second. It doesn't cost you anything. You can share after the live stream is over. You can leave a comment. All of those things really, really help us. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you hop on over and subscribe to us on YouTube. If you have a Twitch account, follow us on Twitch. Anything you want to add, Susanna? Um, I'm cuter than you, and my simp army will be stronger every day. Okay. <laughs> guys, can you prove prove Susanna wrong? Guys, guys, guys. Uh, wait, you, you, my, I, I, you know how many followers I have on Twitter on my personal account compared to you? 
Wait, yeah, you've been doing it, this. You've been doing. You have ten years on me. You have like fifteen no, years of activism on me. No, no, no. Okay, Instagram. I haven't been doing much activism on Instagram, and Instagram is supposed to be more female friendly. Like female women mm-hmm. get a lot more followers on Instagram than men, and I'm beating you on Instagram. So yeah, because yeah. you've been a public figure for years more than I have. Sure, whatever, whatever. Also, whatever I'm terrible at taking photos of myself. Aaron is. Yeah, Aaron used to hate me. Now he's simping for me. I think okay, it's a love-hate I'll, relationship. It's a love-hate relationship, is it? it is. AJ is saying, how about a poll? No. <laughs> no. We go by social media following. Uh, Ethan is saying, good night. Uh, atheist life matters. Yes, that is true. Atheist lives do matter. And we should make, should we make that a hashtag? Should we make that trending? Uh, Farah saying, thanks, GN guys. Uh, simp for Susanna. Now, Farah, I'm going to cut you out. Uh, simping for Susanna. Uh, I will send for Armin in spite of all his terrible arguments. Great, great. That because, yeah, see, I'm so good that even though Aaron doesn't like my arguments, he has no choice but to send for me. Anyways, I'm going to stop now. Uh, <laughs> love every, love you. I was going to again say love you all, but as, as always, I don't love you all. I only love the people who are subscribed or are following us on Twitch. Facebook people, get on the YouTube bandwagon. Come join us on YouTube as well. Um, and yeah, and thank you to all our members and our patrons, especially for the people who are remaining our patrons or YouTube members, despite disagreeing with us. You guys are extremely tolerant, so thank you for that. Anyways, mm-hmm. love you, everyone, and not everyone again, just the subscribers and the Twitch followers. <laughs> bye bye. Sub- subscribe right now, hit the notification bell right now. Anybody that hasn't hit the notification bell, do it right now. It takes half a second, do it now. <laughs> thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel hit the bell thingy if you haven't i don't know why what has what's holding you back okay if you haven't subscribed to our channel why haven't you subscribed to our channel explain that to us please like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.